Welcome back to Hardcore Skyblock, which means if we on alive, we have to do this. And well, this happens. Oh, compressed skeletons can be bad. Run! Holy! That that could have been bad. That could have been bad. That was close. <laughs> Too late now. Oh, that was definitely not enough. This is uh, this is not gonna go well. So if you enjoy, please like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell to be notified every time I upload, and enjoy the video. So since last episode, I've done some work off camera. So the first thing you'll notice right away is I put a little ring around the entire outside of the base, just so we don't walk into the void for not paying attention. And then we took all our crucible stuff from over there, or barrels I should say, and we sunk them into the ground right here. And then we moved our enchantment table over here, leaving room for us to put some bookshelves. Then we made our farm area look a little bit nicer, seeing as we're gonna be using that a lot in this episode. Then I fixed our mob grinder. I took one entire row out of that side, so now it is two blocks in the center instead of the three it was. Because I couldn't reach everything in the middle there, but now every time I go up here, I'm able to pick up all the loot. And that's important because, well, there's these loot bags, right? And there's a couple items you can't get other than from the loot bags. So I've gone ahead and collected a bunch of the green ones as the item we're going for really only comes out of that one. But I got four white ones in here, so they're common. And if I combine four of them together, I can get an uncommon one. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and open them. I'm actually hoping to get ender pearls from this so we can make an ender pearl seed. Seeing as we are on the mystical farming section of our achievements. So let's quick roll all of these. We only actually got one ender pearl. We need four, but that'll have to wait because we're having storage issues. And I don't want to build a thousand chests to store everything. So there's these things called chest upgrades. And you got an iron, a gold, and diamond, and crystal chest as well. So I want to get up to this crystal chest. And for that, we're going to need the diamond chest surrounded by glass, which means we'll need the gold chest, and which means we're going to need an iron chest. So we're going to need to craft up a few of these golden chest upgrades. And that just takes one iron surrounded by gold. Good thing we got a lot of that stuff in our smelter here. So let's pour it all out. So there we go, got all our iron and gold. And I think I want six of these. Because I want to upgrade all of these chests here. So let's go ahead, shift click them onto the chest. Okay, I don't know why it's not working. Oh, that's an iron to gold one. I'm a genius. Okay, so how do we get the iron chest? Just chests surrounded by a bunch of iron. Okay, there's our six iron chests. And now we can go ahead and upgrade these. There we go, there's a gold chest. So now we need a gold to diamond, which is fairly straightforward. Just a bunch of glass and two diamonds. And we only have one diamond. So how do we get these again? By sifting gravel, okay. It's only a 1% chance though. We could get the diamond stiffen mesh. That gives us 3% chance. How many diamonds does it cost to make one of these? Four diamonds. And I've also added a couple more sieves here. So 16 sieves total. We need a stack of diamonds. Well, it's a good thing we got a lot of cobble. So I guess I know what I'm doing. So after all that gravel, we still only have 13 diamonds. That'd be enough to upgrade each one of these chests, but then we'd be out of diamonds again. And we do need more for later on in the episode. So what I think I'm gonna do is make the diamond mesh. So I've actually gone ahead, crafted up 16 more sieves. Seems I actually don't wanna get rid of these iron ones because there is some items here you can't actually get with the diamond mesh. So let's come into our chest, grab up our string, and let's go ahead, craft up three diamond meshes. So now, we now have the 3% chance. And we can actually get some emeralds too. So come back to our cobblestone chest. Yeah, no, I need to empty my inventory. But once again, our chests are full. So we need to figure something out for that. So there's these things called the basic drawers. And they hold up to 8 stacks per drawer. And I believe it has 4 drawers total. And they're fairly easy to craft. So let's go ahead and make some of those. And there we go. And I think for now, I'm just going to throw all my ores into these. And now we have a little more room in our chests. So let's once again grab more cobble. And now we can slowly start sifting using our diamond mesh. So there's all our diamond meshes. That took multiple inventories worth. And there's all our diamonds. So let's go ahead and craft the upgrades. And now upgrade these. And now diamond to crystal. Piece of obsidian and glass. But you can just take the chest and make it into a crystal one anyway. Let's just do that. Let's pick them up and surround them with glass. And there we go. And we got a huge chest. So now, time to transfer all these items. So now that that's done, I kind of want to finish these farms. So we're going to need a lot of dirt. It means we're going to be standing here for a while. That's if we only have one seed, though. And there's an item called the Garden Cloche? I, I think that's how you say it. 
And what this item does is it grows the crops for you, but can give you a chance of the seed. So we just need a lantern. Oh, but that requires glowstone. Hmm. Iron plates is easy enough. Iron mechanical components is easy enough as well. And then it's just glass and wood. How do I get traded wood planks though? Oh, here we go. Just regular planks and then this oil bucket. How do I get that? Coke oven that turns coal into coal coke. I have no idea how to make one of those things though. So I guess that'll have to wait till later because I believe this thing also requires power, which we don't have. So I guess I'm doing this the old fashioned way or I could just craft more dirt seeds. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's hope 12 is enough because we really need a lot of dirt for that section so we can get a big inferior farm going because we're gonna be using a lot of it. And there we go. We finished off this platform and we made this one as well. So we can pick up our two inferior seeds and we can go ahead and plant them down here. Except I want to keep the two tiers separated so I know which ones we need to upgrade. So let's put the level one right there. And seeing as we've been AFKing our mob generator, we've collected a nice amount of Inferium. And last episode, we also got a lot of seeds. So let's go ahead, craft up a bunch more. 17 is as much as we can get. So let's go ahead, place them all down here. And now we can start watering these. Okay, I just found something. There is Nether Inferium Ore. And I believe the Nether spawns normally. Unlike the overworld. So if we get cobblestone, turn it into lava, and make some obsidian, we can build ourselves another portal. So let's place the last piece of obsidian down and light up our portal. But before we go in, I want to craft ourselves some armor, because we don't want to unalive. Because then we have to delete our world, and I don't want that. So there we go. I believe we're ready to enter the nether. Oh, and we spawn right on a fortress. I guess the nether is not normal. So that idea won't work. So let's leave before I am alive. And we'll go back when I have the ability to fly. So I guess after all, we are watering these plants. Okay, so after an hour of farming, we've gotten all nine of these seeds up to tier two. And tier three is gonna probably take twice as long to get. So I wanna do something in the meantime to help us progress while we stand here watering these things. And there's two items I need to get for this to work. One would be diamond spikes, which require three diamonds, three diamond swords, and one diamond block. So there's our three diamond swords and our diamond block. And we just have enough diamonds that we don't have to do more seeding. Thank God. So let's craft them up. And the absorption hopper is the next item we're going for. And for that, we need three pieces of obsidian, one hopper, and then I have ender, which we don't actually have blaze powder for. But the way we get the blaze powder is just by sifting dust through our diamond mesh. And we do have some dust in this chest. So let's go ahead and sift it. And we got five blaze powder. So let's grab our ender pearl, combine those together, grab our obsidian, craft up a hopper, and now we got our absorption hopper. So if we come on over to our spawner, we can place our absorption hopper down right there. It'll start collecting everything, and we can place our diamond spikes in here, just like that. So now no mobs will end up standing there. And as long as we filter all these items out, we won't be losing any drops from our spawner. So let's put a crystal chest below it, and now the absorption hopper will go directly into the chest. And we can grab all the items out of here when we need it. And we've already got 12 Inferium Essence in here, so let's grab that. And now that that's going, we can come back here and continue growing Inferium. So a lot of farming later, let's grab up our Inferium Seed and craft up a Tier 3 Seed. Bro, this is starting to take way too long. So I want to get myself an upgrade, and that would be the Reinforced Watering Can. However, you need a Nether Star for this, which means we need Wither Skulls to make a Wither. So we'll need a better sword than the diamond one I just upgraded to off camera. And that would be a tinker's sword. However, we can't get it with the tool station. We actually need a tool forge, which we only need four iron blocks, the tool station, and four seared brick. So we just need more grout. Or I can actually just take some cobblestone and throw it into our smeltery. And that will turn into 16 blocks of seared stone. And I believe we can just pour it out into our casting basins. So now we just need our three blocks of iron. Oh wait, no, we need four. Guess we're smelting the iron ore chunks. Hope that doesn't combine with the seared stone. Try to drain as much out as possible, just in case. And perfect, we got it all drained out just in time. So let's grab our iron block and our tool station and upgrade to the tool forge. And there we go. So now we can get ourselves the cleaver. So we're gonna need four components for this. We're gonna need a tough tool rod, a large plate, large sword blade, and another tough tool rod. And we got the perfect amount of blank patterns for that. We just need some cobblestone and some gold to make our templates. So let's go ahead and grab the large sword blade. 
the tough tool rod, and the large plate. And let's go ahead and make the templates. And there we go. Now I just need to decide what material I want to make this out of. So I think I want to get the head of the sword as steel, but we don't have access to steel right now, but we can make it. We can't get it through mystical agriculture because we don't actually have the steel ingots. So we'll have to get it through a steel chicken. And how we get that is by breeding an iron chicken and a cold chicken. And then it's just a bunch of breeding up to that point, a flint chicken, a bone one, and so on and so forth. So let's grab seeds because we'll need these and we'll actually need some more bone meal. So let's grab some of our bones and now we got more than enough. So let's grab the eggs from our nest and we craft up the bone meal chicken, the flint chicken, and those two will make our iron chicken. So now we just need the coal one. So we need another flint chicken and a log chicken. So let's grab that guy. So let's just make the log chicken now. There we go. So if we come on over to one of the pens here, I'll just throw them in with the rabbits, place them down right there. Same with the flint one and the bone one. I guess the bone one's only a chance. And there we go, there's our bone chicken. So now we just need to wait for this guy to grow up in nine seconds. And we can now breed these two guys together and these two guys as well. Aw, oh, give us a log and another flint. I guess we're waiting another five minutes. And there's our cold chicken and our iron one, both fully grown. So now let's try to breed these two together and hopefully we get the chicken we need. Ah, gave us a lead one. That's not what we need. I'm sure that'll come in handy later, just not right now. And they're ready to breed again. So let's go ahead and do that. And a cold chicken. I have a feeling I'll be here a while. So it's been a while. I've been doing a little bit of breeding, getting rid of low tier ones, and we happened to get a steel chicken. And I didn't even notice when the heck we got that. I've been here for about three hours. I'm not very impressed. So let's make another nesting pen and grab our animal net, pick up our steel chicken, and throw them into the nesting pen. And now, it's a waiting game once again. So it's been a few hours, and I got ourselves seven steel ingots from our chicken. I want to say four to make the steel seed eventually, but we don't have the premium essence. It's kind of the whole reason we're doing this, actually. But we do have three spare steel ingots we can throw into our smeltery. However, I don't want it mixing in with the iron or gold. So let's drain out our smeltery. And now that it's drained out, we can chuck our three steel ingots into the smeltery. And I hope it's enough. And it's not. It's not even half of what we need. Well, I guess these ones are going in now. Good thing you'll be giving me some more ingots eventually. Bro, that's still not enough. I'm one ingot short. It's been another 30 minutes. You better be enough. And this is all for one part. I still don't know what I'm making the other parts out of. Good. It's enough. So there's the large sword blade. Now just to figure out what has the most durability. Bro, it's really steel again. Okay, so I've AFK'd for a long time, and we got seven steel ingots in here now. It would have honestly probably been faster just to water the Inferium. Because we need two of the tough tool rods, and we only got one ingot left over. I really hope we don't need steel for the last bit. Okay, steel only gives 25 durability. That's not bad. But silver gives 150, and we got a lot of that. Sponge 250, what? How on earth do you get this? Well, I don't know. Guess we're not using that. Slime 350? Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. But we'll need a cactus green chicken and a clay one to get slime. Which means we need a snowball chicken and a sand chicken. Okay, we're not doing this. That's too many chickens. Silver it is. So there's our silver and there's our large plate. So let's combine them all together to make our steel silver cleaver. So let's run into the nether. And we're gonna have to be very careful not to fall into the void. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Kind of forgot about those guys. Maybe we'll just mine our way in. And let's see what's in this chest. Diamondite crystal block. I remember seeing something about this stuff. I don't remember what it's actually for though, but let's keep on going. Oh, hello, Blaze. Gotta build ourselves some walls along the way and let's get our first Blaze. No, that was rude. Go away. No, 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 this, this guy, this guy's gonna be bad. Ooh. Oh, that's fairly easy. What is this? Drop of evil. Oh, cursed lasso. That's gonna be helpful for later. Oh, wither skeleton head. Yes. One down, many more to go. <laughs> Number two. Oh, another word. I forgot about this. Let's grab some of this up. Don't hit the pigman. Don't hit the pigman. Okay, blaze. Don't, don't shoot the pigman. Oh, we got a lot of them over there. Oh, one behind me. I was not ready for that. Oh, compressed skeleton. This is gonna be bad. Uh, oh, run! Holy! Oh. That, that could have been bad, that could have been bad. That was close. What are those things above my armor? 
Yep, I should have really waited to come in here till I could fly. Oh, but we got our three wither skeleton heads. Nice. We can get out of here. I have no idea where I am going. Oh, here's our portal. Okay, thank. Let's get out of here. No, Blaze, don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you. That was, uh, that was too close for comfort. So now that we got our three wither skeleton heads, how do we get soul sand? Wither dust and sand. And how do we get the wither dust? Oh, wither skeleton head. I know we dropped some when we were fighting mobs, but I think I threw them out on accident. Good thing we got a few extra skulls. That should be more than enough. So now, just to make sand. And there we go. So let's make a bunch of soul sand. Five, that should be more than enough. Only question is, I have no idea where I'm gonna fight this thing. Certainly not here, that's for sure. So let's grab a bunch of cobble, make a bow, and let's go back and reinforce this area. And hopefully that'll be enough. So let's spawn him in right here. Hopefully being this close to the portal won't be a bad idea. And let's hope this works. <laughs> Too late now. Oh, that was definitely not enough. This is, uh, this is not gonna go well. Maybe we can see his tail just a little bit. Oh no, he escaped. <laughs> He's all the way over there. Maybe, <laughs> let's try. Yeah, this wasn't a good idea. Oh, there's one. Oh, we're slowly getting them. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that again until we can fly. Got some Supremium Essence though, and a Crumb Star. I have no idea what you use this for though, but more importantly, the Nether Star. So let's go ahead and grab our four pieces of Obsidian. There we go. And now craft up our reinforced watering can. There we go. All that for some water. But hopefully it'll make this that much faster. But let's grab our Supremium, all the Inferium Essence from our Mob Spawner, craft it all together, up into four Supremium Essence, and let's downgrade our Superium Essence into Supremium and upgrade to a tier four Inferium Seed. So there is our first tier four. Time to farm. And our first tier five seed. Only a ton more to go. So let's get that down and start watering. And there's all tier five in a five by five area. Now just for the outer ring. Actually, never mind. That's as big as we need it. Because when we automate, we can't do more than a five by five. Because the watering can only reaches in a five by five area. So we can make this farm area a little bit smaller. And there we go. I've also built up other areas for future farms. Look at me thinking ahead. This is big brain time. But now I still know I'm going to need more of this. Let's go. So now that we've done that for way too long, we can go ahead and do our iron seed and our diamond seed, along with a whole bunch of others. So how do we make this iron seed? Three intermediate essence, four pieces of iron, and tier three crafting seed, which is a basic surrounded by inferium, then the tier one surrounded by prudentium, let's say it's that, and then that one surrounded by intermediate. Good thing we have 11. Do we have any prosperity shards though? 29, hopefully that'll be enough. So let's craft it up. I'll make four, because I know I'm gonna be making quite a few seeds. So there's our tier one, tier two, and tier three. So there is our iron seed. So let's place this guy down, and now we no longer have to sift for iron. But unfortunately, we still need some diamonds. So let's grab our diamond hammer, place down a bunch of cobble, crush it up into gravel, and do our final amount of sifting. And of course, I didn't get a single diamond out of that. Uh, all right, so there's our four diamonds and we need Supremium. Oh, this is expensive. Well, at least we got nine. So let's upgrade our seed all the way to tier five and craft up our diamond seed. But now I need more dirt. So back to you, grab our dirt, throw it all down, add our water and plant down our diamond seed. Now we can grow diamonds and that's iron seeds and diamond seeds. But as we know, one's really not gonna be enough. So I guess it's time to make this garden cloche. I really hope I said that right. And I figured out how to get the treated wood. We just need a bunch of this coke brick. And for that, it's a bunch of clay, a couple of bricks, and some sandstone, which is all very easy to get. So let's craft up our sandstone, throw some of our clay into the furnace, and now we can craft some up. 48, nice. That's way more than we need. And I'm gonna just build it right in this section here. So we got our area all ready. And now we can start building it. We just need a three by three floor with three by three walls and a three by three roof. Okay, I don't know why it's not working. I'm just missing one item. Okay, so we need an immersive engineering hammer and that's fairly straightforward to make. So there we go. And now we just right click the face of it. And there we go. We needed a block in the middle. So now all we need is some coal, chuck it in the oven and wait for it to convert. And this has taken a while. But there is our first bit 
of the oil we need. So while we wait for that to cook up, we can start on the other parts of the garden cloche. And for that, we're going to need a couple iron plates, which is the immersive engineering hammer and piece of iron. So there we go. And we'll need some copper. Good thing we got a couple of copper chunks in here. We only need one, so we'll use the furnace. And now make our iron mechanical component. And now we just need glowstone and a couple glass panes. So there's a piece of glowstone and our glass panes. And now we can craft up the lantern, come back over to our oven, put a bucket in, and take out the oil we need. So let's make our treated wood planks. And there we go. So let's come on to the back, throw the garden cloche down, and now you need power and water. So we need a transfer node, which is two pieces of redstone, transfer pipe, and stone. And transfer pipes are fairly simple as well. So let's grab all the materials necessary, but we only have four redstone, which is just enough, but I wanna make a redstone seed. So there we go, we got the seed crafted up. So let's go ahead, plant it down, and water it. And our diamond seed's finally grown. So nine essence later, and we got 16 redstone. So now we can craft up our transfer pipes and our transfer node. And now we need energy conduits. How do I get conductive iron? I don't know. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. It means I need an alloy smelter. Three furnaces, four iron, cauldron, and machine casing. How do I get that? Okay, iron bars, iron, and basic capacitor. How do I get that? Okay, that's fairly straightforward. I guess this time I'm cooking all the copper. So with all our copper, now we need gold nuggets. And I believe we can make our basic capacitor. And our iron bars, our machine casing, our three furnaces, our cauldron, and now our alloy smelter. But we're still having the problem of power, which was the reason for this. Anyways, let's place it down there. And there's these solar panels I could try to use, which are very easy to make. So let's go ahead and make some of these. I need more iron. 38 should be good, I hope. And make nine of these. Can we upgrade to tier two? Piston and a bunch of solar panels. I can do that. And there's our tier two. So now... I believe we can just throw that on there. And why aren't you filling up? Oh, you are filling up. It's just taking a little bit. And I believe I can throw the tier one on you and you'll fill up as well. I guess we got power now and I'm sure that's a challenge somewhere. Oh, travel to the nether. We did that. On a live wither. We've done that as well. Oh, craft and power generator of some kind. Unfortunately, I don't think solar panels count as a generator. Well, that's all right. So now that all that's done, I believe we can start piping in the water. So let's try to put this fluid node on here. Okay, that didn't work. Let's put that down first, then that, then break the piece of wood, grab our pipes and transfer it. I might have to break this piece. And there we go. Hello, why aren't you working? I need one of these mining upgrades. So I'll just need four iron, four lapis, and an iron pickaxe. So grab our lapis, craft up our iron pickaxe, and now make the mining upgrade. So let's throw this in here. And now our cloche is getting water. So now I believe if we grab our seed and we throw it in here, after a while, yes, it gives us another seed. Why didn't I just do this with the Infurium seeds? That would've gone so much quicker. It seems like it's giving us a seed every single time. I won't complain. So from now on, we only need to build one seed. So with all our seeds now multiplied, we can attempt to sort this chest out, because that's a lot of loot bags. So we should have no problem getting our ender pearls now, he says hopefully. So I guess this is my life now. Wish me luck. And there we go, we got three ender pearls. And in our chest here, we have another one. So that is four. So we have just enough to make an enderman seed. Wait, what? Enderman chunk, we don't have enough. How do we even get these? A zombie chunk, how do we get that? Oh, we need a solium dagger to get mob chunks. Ah, uh, okay, that's fair enough. But problem being, we still don't have enough ender pearls. So let's save those for later because that is going to do it for this episode. I am so sorry for the wither fight clip crashing. I'm actually very disappointed in that. It was an intense moment. And I'm also sorry for the abrupt ending to the episode. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually kind of sick right now. My throat hurts a lot. It hurts to talk. So I unfortunately have to end this one here. So if you guys did enjoy, please like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Join my Discord down in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.